Hi guys, it's Rachel, T and Teal. Um, I'm still sick, which is why I have my white girl wasted slash hashtag girls who smoke weed hat on. Um, I know it's pretty much a dread hat and I look ridiculous, but I actually made this myself and I followed the recipe and it's so much bigger than I thought it would be. But you know what? It's warm and fuck it. <laughs> white girl with dreads, hashtag it. Um, so I am here today to do the BJD time tag uh, made by Swan Sarah Pint Size Palace and uh, I have a lot to say on this subject. I'm going to get Edith up ready because I'm going to be glaring at her a lot. All right then, so there are 12 questions so I'm just going to scootle on through them. Let's go. So question number one is how long did you have to wait for your first BJD after buying them? <sighs> Well, let me tell you a thing. I think I may have the trump card here, guys. I waited six months, half a year. Oh my God, it was awful because I ordered her in February, right? And she arrived at the end of July and she was my first, well, first doll, that's part of the question. Ugh. Um, it was, it was torture, it was horrendous, and I hated it, and I had so many dreams about the postman coming, or my order had been forgotten about, and like, she never came, and all this, it was, it was a time of, of stress. But, when she arrived, it was, I don't know, like, <laughs> This sounds really, this is going to make me sound like a dick, obviously, like, as a person without children, but it literally felt like waiting for a child to come. <laughs> so it's like, you wait so long, but then when they arrive, it's like, all is forgiven. I just looked at her and I was like, you know, I don't care. I'd wait that again to have you. So it was worth it in the end, but Jesus Christ, <sighs> don't order your first doll from Doll Zone. <laughs> Took forever. Okay, then. Question number two. How long have you been in the hobby? So I'm going to count from when I ordered her because I feel like that's when I was lurking, you know, more, lurking more fiercely <laughs> around the community than I was uh, beforehand. So I'll be coming up to a year in the hobby soon, which sounds mad because I ordered her, yeah, the end of February. So not long at all until it's a year, which seems just absolutely mental. But um, July is when I got her, so that'll be a year since I got a doll, so, you know, see it how you will. I'm counting it as nearly a year, which is insane. Uh, question number three. How much time do you spend with your dolls, on your dolls, sorry, in a day? Um, so I would say I spend, like, at least an hour. Like, if I'm not working on them, I usually have them about just to sort of look at and be there and kind of contemplate ideas <laughs> and stuff about them so I'd say at least an hour um, but certain things take me a real long time so you know perhaps a whole day like eight hours <laughs> would be like the top end of the scale. Uh, question number four how much time do you spend on your dolls in a week month year? I don't really know how to work this out um, I'd probably imagine like out of my week about about half a day so like 12 hours of that week I guess is spent on them like I said it fluctuates because you know you know how it is sometimes you've got more time sometimes the weather's right and you can go and spray sometimes you know everybody's out and you can make loads of YouTube videos you know you know how it is it fluctuates but uh, as much time as possible <laughs> I guess is the answer there question number five how often do you go to thrift stores etc to look for doll things so I, I have a real bad time with charity shops. I can never, ever, 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 ever find anything useful in there for me or for dolls or for anything. So I tend to not go in. There is one good one um, nearby where my best friend lives. Me and her go in there sometimes and I have found a couple of things for me in there, but never for dolls. It's all like clothes and stuff. So never really, but whenever I go, you know, if I'm ever out and about shopping, if I go to Tesco's or whatever, I'll always have a gander and, you know, the, the toy section or just generally see if they've got anything that could be used. But I feel like my my eyes aren't quite trained to sort of pick out when things are in scale and stuff yet. So quite often I'll like ignore something 
and then a few weeks later I'll be thinking like well fuck that would have been the perfect size so I'm my sort of doll brain isn't quite um <laughs> tuned yet so um I'm always looking but uh, very rarely finding. <laughs> uh, question number six, how long did you have to save for your first BJD? So I was really really lucky um, because I pretty much decided I was going to join the hobby and I was you know having a peruse through Angelesque and like oh which one which one you know reading up on all these things and whatever so I, I probably did that for about two weeks um, and was you know planning how to save for her. Um, and then I was very fortunate in that I got um, gifted some money and with that money I was able to buy her so whoo, I didn't actually have to save at all really um, I was super super lucky thinking back at the time I probably shouldn't have spent that money on a doll but you know fuck it it's ancient history I did and I was happy when she arrived so no harm no foul though okay doke oh sorry I'm so sniffly I've got my old oil in a tissue here. I'm gonna have a little, a little hit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, do you want some too? Oh, she loves it. Oh my God. Why have I never used Olbus oil before? Can you, can you answer that? Like it's literally, it's saving my life right now. Oh, oh, it's literally like a hit. <laughs> but it proper just like whoosh in all your sinuses. Oh, okay, Rachel, I'll stop being disgusting on camera. Okie doke. Um, what's the longest, sorry, this is question number seven now. What's the longest you've had to save for a BJD? So I'd say probably right now is the longest um, I've been saving because obviously some of you might know um, I am unemployed at the moment. I have been for quite a while. I do have a job start date now though, so yay. Um, but so I've been sort of trying to pinch the pennies here and there to get together some money um, probably for about like three months like seriously trying to scrimp and save but I should be starting well I will be starting my job at the end of this month so I've got very big plans <laughs> for my first pay packet so um, so yeah hopefully this period right now will be the longest I've ever had to save and you know Saving without an income is uh, it's pretty hard, it's pretty difficult. So um, I'm proud that I've managed to, you know, I guess even remain active in the hobby, really. I've been making a lot of stuff myself, of course, but, but anyway, I'm off topic now, that wasn't the question. Right now, I've been saving for a long time. Question number eight, how long does it take you to finish a face up or a wig or so, etc.? ages ages it takes me like minimum a full day to do a face up like a whole day like I start in say late morning early afternoon and I won't be finished until like 10 o'clock it takes me so long and I feel like they're so subpar at the moment I'm hoping that I'll just you know practice some time and whatever but um I'm still sort of, you know, feeling my way around the materials and I end up making lots of mistakes and having to, you know, go back and forth and fight with myself a bit. So a long ass time <laughs> is the answer to that question. Um, I have never made a wig, not as of yet. I do plan to. Um, sewing, again, you know, if you've watched my video about uh, sewing things for this girl, it this dress like took me a whole weekend. It took me a whole weekend full 48 hours and that was with a lot of external help as well but again you know I'm sure I'll get quicker in that department you know I had no idea what was doing the foot wasn't down I mean Jesus I you know needed a lot of help so <laughs> I can though I haven't showed these um to you guys yet but um I can knit doll stuff pretty quickly so at the moment I've just knit her a cute little pair of leg warmers there um and that took me maybe like an, an hour all in, I guess, to do both of them. I can knit pretty quickly, so um, that doesn't take me very long, but, but everything else takes me forever, like at least a day, at least a day. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna blow my nose, pardon me. Oh, I'm so disgusting. I will obviously edit that out <laughs> for your pleasure. You don't wanna watch me blow my nose on YouTube. Okie dokie. Question number nine, we are flying through. 
Uh, how long are you willing to wait for a BJD? Um, so I don't, I had a thought, think about this. I don't really mind waiting. You know, I survived the six month, the sixth, sixth, why can't I say that? Sixth, sixth, six month. Oh my God, I'm having a stroke. I waited a long ass time for her. So, and I didn't have any doll, you know, to kind of project my energy onto. So I feel like now I have dolls, I probably could do a wait like that again. Um, I wouldn't not buy a doll because there was a long wait time involved because I think, you know, when you're spending that much money on anything, it has to be right for you. So I wouldn't think, oh, well, it's going to take eight months for that doll to come, so I'm not going to bother because if, if that's the doll I want, like, that's, that's the doll I want. So I'd be hesitant to order from anywhere that would take like a year. Like, that, that's a bit too long. I feel like that like your plans might have totally changed whatever by then you might have moved house I mean Jesus <laughs> deliver it to the wrong address so we'll say like seven eight months I guess I'd be willing to wait um because of for a doll question number 10 how long will you research a BJD before buying I don't know I kind of I have dolls that I go back to I feel like I'm researching all the time you know like you're always sort of looking at sculpts and what other people have done with their dolls and if you see somebody else's doll that you really like you'll like have a little gander and see like what sculpt that is how much it is like how do you order it blah 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 so i guess if like someone gave me money like right this second i feel like i know the dolls that i would want to buy with that money do you know what i mean because i'm always researching and looking but if there was like a brand new doll um that came out uh i would probably spend a day i guess looking into it um trying to find obviously youtube videos body reviews on youtube and stuff and owner pictures um i struggled a lot with that with her actually because there's literally I mean, maybe somebody else out there has a doll's own Doreen. I know Agent Knopf does, but um, when I was actually buying her, you know, in February last year, uh, there were no owner pictures, there were no YouTube videos about her at all. I couldn't find anybody with a doll's own Doreen. Um, so I just had the website and I pretty much just went off that. So I guess probably not long. I don't know. I'm looking all the time. We're all looking all the time. We know how it is. We know the details of bodies of dolls that we don't have and probably never will have, you know. You know how it is. You a crazy doll person too. Question number 11. How long does it take you to create a new character? Forever. I'm so bad at creating characters. I don't know what it is. Like, everyone else, I remember um, watching one of uh, Pinot Noir ice cream bars video I think it's called like obsessive character creation or something and she was on about how she'll watch something and then like you know an hour from that time she's created this whole army of characters like she'll create one and that leads to more and that leads to more and that leads to more 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 and I I just can't I don't know what it is with my brain I'm like okay I'm gonna sit down and make a character uh... Um, maybe they're a, a guy, and, uh, maybe, uh, he, I don't know, like, he's, I don't know, is he a nice, he's a nice guy, I guess, like, I'm so bad, I am so bad at it, um, I'm still creating Adis's character, really, she's the most fleshed out character I have, definitely, Abel, actually, I'm struggling a lot with, I think because, because it's like a child sculpt. I feel like there are certain ideas and things that you can't project onto that, or at least I'm having trouble projecting. So I've got, I've got ideas um, about her and who she is, but I mean, she's changed. I mean, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that she was an alien, a gender bending alien. And now I feel like she's a bit more of a sort of, forest spirit slash feral child kind of character um but I'm still I'm I have a lot I'm having a lot of trouble with her basically I'm still working through that so it takes me a long old time I'm still like I said I'm still developing this one but I definitely think having having dolls because I've, I've always wanted to get into writing and that's sort of part of the reason why I joined this hobby as well and I find it 
so good that you have this physical form. Like, I, again, I had completely different character plans for Adis before she arrived. Um, I was going to base her off uh, Rin from Fate Stay Night and have her be some kick-ass mage, uh, sort of schoolgirl kind of thing. And she arrived and I looked at her face and I was like, oh no, <laughs> that simply will not do. You, young lady, are royalty. You are royalty. There's nothing like this face is so unimpressed, just permanently unimpressed. Like, what else would she be? She's a spoiled brat. It takes me forever and I probably never really finish them. <laughs> question number 12, the final question. How often do you think about buying a BJD? Every damn day! <laughs> if money was not a problem. Oh. We would have armies, wouldn't we? We would have armies. Like I said, this, I feel like this kind of ties into the research question for me. I'm always looking on websites at dolls and their cost and where they're coming from and how long it takes, who's got them, owner pictures, YouTube videos on them. Like dolls I have no interest in ever buying. I've watched body reviews on and do you know what I mean? It's just, it's so silly, really. <laughs> if money wasn't an issue, I'd probably buy a doll, like, every month. Um, <laughs> without even a second thought. I mean, yeah. But, uh, I think about buying a new one all the time, particularly now that I'm really close to having an income again and I'll actually have the money to bring some new resin home. Um, I've been thinking about it a lot. I've been dreaming about it. Three o'clock in the morning and you're scrolling through your phone, looking at these dolls and uh, you know you know you know how it is so uh always every day <laughs> so um yeah those were all the questions so if you want to do it tag you're it go do it um i really enjoyed this tag like i said i've uh, got a lot to speak about time and waiting oh god it was awful that's it from me guys i will see you very soon hopefully when i'm better and I won't be so disgusting and horrible, and I apologise. But yeah, okay. Chat to you soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye! Mwah! Bye!